Hi, welcome to Chemistry 3006, uh, the hydrosphere. We're going to talk a little bit about different equilibrium constants, Ka, Kb and Kw. Okay, so you know about Ka, the dissociation or acid constant. Uh, here's the definition here. If we have HA reacting with water uh, in equilibrium producing an equated H plus ion, that's a H plus surrounded by waters, and an equated A minus A ion. This is in equilibrium, and we can write the equilibrium constant. What is it? The equilibrium constant for that reaction is the activity of H plus times the activity of A minus times the activity divided by the activity of HA. We're using the correct definitions here. We are not using concentrations. Uh, because actually, if you use concentrations, it's really only valid at very dilute solutions. What am I really trying to say? What I'm trying to say is what you've done up to now in first year and second year has been wrong. Why did we do that to you? Because like Jack Nicholson in the movie, we think you can't handle the truth. But now you're handling the truth here. Here's the acid constant, H plus A minus on H8 with activities. It's not a big deal. You just have the activity coefficients going in here. Just like pH, you can have pKa, which is negative log of this Ka constant. Uh, and of course, you can use the properties of logarithm to simplify this expression. Um, we have Kb here. Here is an anion which reacts with water. The anion uh, may then pull off a hydrogen from one of those waters, obviously, because it's minus charged and the hydrogen is positive charged. And we reform the acid. It's the reverse process compared to before, but now the water is explicitly appearing in the reaction. Previously, the water was not explicitly appearing. It was implicitly appearing in all these aqueous quantities. Oh, okay, I suppose it's appearing in here, but it's, it's not certainly not appearing in the Ka constant. Um, so here's the reaction here, and we now get a formation of OH rather than H+. So now we have a Kb constant. So Kb is OH activity times HA activity. Activities of the products minus activities of the reactants, and not taking into account the activity of water by convention in solutions which are mostly water. You do actually have to take into account water activity when water is not uh, the major constituent, and you need to include that in there. It's only a convention that we don't put the activity of the water in here. The activity of pure substances is generally one, so uh, when activity differs from one is uh, when those concentrations, the mole, mole fraction or the, the, the mole fraction becomes different from one. And we can have a pKb. Now there's an important react, uh, quantity and that's Ka times Kb equals Kw. This is all stuff you know from first year, but it also works with activities. You can check that. Um, that quantity, H plus A minus and HA times OH minus HA and A minus gives you concentration of, sorry, activity of H plus times activity of OH minus, which is, which is the uh, water dissociation product. So let's have a look at some interesting things here. Here's the ionic product for water, which is normally about pKw, which is negative log Kw, is normally around about 14, we say. But look at this table here. Um, here are the temperatures in uh, Kelvin, 10, to 10 cube Kelvin divided by T. Uh, and we have two, at 273, we have uh, pKw is, well, it's actually not 14. It's a little bit less than 14 and more than 13. 13.5, so it looks like it's about 13.8 or something like that from the graph. Yes, we see it here, 13.8 down here. And it's a straight line. So actually the P, the Kw of water changes with temperature. What a surprise that is. Not really, it's not a surprise at all. 
as the temperature goes up, the uh, pKW gets uh, larger, goes up, and as the temperature goes down, this gets smaller, indicating that actually more species are dissociated at lower temperature. Isn't that interesting? You might have thought that more H plus uh, is formed at high temperature, but in fact, the reverse is true. And here we have pKW versus uh, Ws, which is the salinity. Salinity means, uh, assuming we have, uh, for example, salt, uh, we'll we're not going to define here salinity, but you can see that as the salinity changes, the concentration of the other ions in the solution, the KW is affected. The KW is affected by other species. And it's affected through the activity coefficients because KW is OH activity times H activity. And both of those involve um, activity coefficients. So both of those depend on the salinity of the solution. Kw depends on the ionic strength or salinity and the temperature. We'll talk about ionic strength in a second. Okay. Hi, welcome to Chemistry 3.0.